And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. And the earth was lightened with his, with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the, the great is fallen, is fallen, and become the habitation of devils, and, out of, and, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of her wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High has remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her according to her works. In the cup which she has filled, fill her double. How much she has glorified her self and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her, for she has, for she saith in her heart, I said a queen, I am no wit, wit, widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord Yahweh who judges her. Our Shalom, all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Okay, double double honors to the apostles of the Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to you brothers out there doing the work in truth, truth and sincerity. I just want to go into Revelations 18 because this will be the last terror attack on America. All right, and the terror attack will be from the Lord Himself. You know, when Yahweh Shai coming, who the world even called Jesus Christ coming with His angels. Okay. Uh, Revelation 18 uh, outlines the destruction of America. Who is America? It, uh, I want to go through the whole chapter, but I'm not sure if I go through. I'm just going to hit some points. And uh, so we go back up to verse verse 18 because there's a there's a there's a there's buzzwords out there. Terrorist attack, ISIS. You know, next terrorist attack is going to be in America. You know, uh, the July 4th of terror terror attack, the summer of terror. These are all buzzwords that the so-called white man is using in his media, okay? What's the word media? It goes back to the word medium, right? And the, the medium basically between the, the elites and the people, man. The, the media is set up to basically indoctrinize and, and, and throw out different uh, buzzwords out there to basically indoctrinize and, and um, artificially, uh, uh, artificially uh, supplant you people uh, these different ideas in your head man all right uh let me go back up to this is revelation 18 1 and after these things i saw another uh, angel come down from heaven having great power and earth was lightened with his glory i was shy man and he cried with a with a uh strong voice saying babylon the great is fallen is fallen it's become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit in a cage of every unclean and hateful bird because basically this is a future prophecy of america being destroyed right and the, and the angel saying hey look the the uh america is, is destroyed now america when it's destroyed fully destroyed right in the last terror attack from the lord which the lord is going to use these other nations mainly russia okay and his and his confederate uh and his confederacy to shoot nuclear missiles on america man and he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great is fallen, is fallen. It's become the habitation of devils, man, and the hold of every foul spirit in the cage of every every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of, of the wine of her wrath of, the, of, of her fornication. What's one of those, man? Democracy, which that's not according to the scriptures. Uh, homosexuality. Um, now you have, uh, over in South Africa, you have the first gay the first gay uh rugby team man all uh america's turning all these nations into homosexuals man like i said democracy the the, the so-called uh, federal reserve banking uh the so-called paper money that's not in the scriptures man you're not supposed to have a fault and that's a false balance so-called white man is all about a false balance it says the kings of the earth had committed fornication with her like i said man uh, what what there's what a banking system that the so-called economy with their uh so-called uh a scholastic system their school system okay the financial system the morality 
the different laws, the different decrees that they put out there that are not according to the scriptures. Right? They the the, the, the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, man. Basically, America was this lone country that's committing all these fornications and then other nations, you know, through through America's deception deceptiveness. Okay, going 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 into the so called white man Esau, all right. They they uh let me read it. It says uh, have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth were waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies, and that's the reason why they committed fornication with them because they were getting goodies in return, man. You know, the so-called white men say, "Hey, we're gonna do it like this," and don't worry, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make you rich, man. And and basically sold out the other nations. He basically sold out their people to basically sell them out, man. So you have an elite, elite group of the other nations out of all nations. You got an elite group of e, uh, Elam. Moab, Ishmael, Japheth, okay, uh, Ammon. The, even within the so-called, even within the so-called white race, you got Teman, you know, you got a uh, uh, Amalek, right? The so-called white man mainly, and this is all. And, and Amalek is the one to blame for this man. They're the worst of all the nations. And Amalek is it goes back to the so-called white man Esau, right? And uh, verse four, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, uh, that ye be not partakers of her sin and that ye receive not her plagues. Right. When we, when we get beamed up into them ships. All right. When the, when they elect get beamed up into them ships, which you people don't believe in. All right. Which is going to happen, but also not partaking in her wickedness that's happening right now, man. All right. Cause come out of my people, man. That's when we we. This is future. Pro that's when uh, America. It says America is gonna be destroyed, right? So that's when that's when we uh, we out of there, man. We partaking out of her plagues. That plague is that nuclear them nuclear missiles, man. The last terror attack that's going to happen on the soil of America, man. You will have no other terror attack that's going to happen, man. And who's going to who's going to orchestrate that terror attack? It's going to be who you ignorant you you people, man. You 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 so called white people, you Chinese, you Arabs. You other nations, even even among our people that call God, man. God's going to kill you, man. God is the ultimate terror. Terrorist attack. Uh, uh, the, God is the ultimate terrorist. Terrorist to who? Terrorist to you, to your so-called wicked-ass community, your wicked-ass society. Right? Because he's not a terror unto us. He's going to be a terror. He's going to be a terror unto you people that live unrighteously and ungodly according to the scriptures. Because the so-called white man, he sets up his laws. He sets up his decrees. You know, he has Congress, you know, he, he, he writes his own laws. He he says that this is a Christian nation, right, a, a bible toting nation. But basically what he does is in his in his so-called Congress, okay, the so-called president, the legislation, the legislative branch, the judicial branch, the executive branch, they take that, they take the scriptures and they pass it to the side, man. And then they start writing their, their state, they start writing their laws, man. And I heard another voice, verse four. Uh, this is, let me go to verse five. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High has remembered her iniquities. Yeah, and what's one of what's what's one of their chief iniquities, man? Is putting the children of Israel into slavery, man. When the so-called white man um, going into uh, within the Spaniards, the Spaniards coming over here in the 1400s, coming into uh, the islands where uh, where the where the Latin tribes were at, man, uh, enslaving the Latin tribes, you know. And and then the, the different settlers, the British came, the Port, the Portuguese came, the French came, the Italians came. All 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 you bands of the so-called white white people, okay, that you like to say that you didn't partake in a particular group of Edomites didn't partake in slavery. You all all you Edomites are are uh, are, are are guilty because the lands that you're in right now then were taken unrighteously. The most and the most high has rem rem uh, remembered your iniquities, man, because you never you never released the children of Israel. That's no, that's number one, first and foremost, and and you stole their culture, man. You told them that they were black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. You 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 gave them free liberty to to to, to be wicked in, in this society, and and with that they're gonna die right along with you, man. It says, uh, verse six, reward her even as she rewarded you. And double unto her according to her works. According to her work, exactly. The, the Lord's gonna give you double, man. So all the all the wickedness that you have placed on the land, on the animals, on the trees, 
on the ecosystem, on the sky, the heavens, on the depths. The, the, the Lord's going to give you double, man. It's going to be a double, it's going to be a double punishment. And that's how you know the Lord is, uh, the Lord is righteous, man. But if you, because if you do wickedness, man, wickedness is going to come unto you double, man. According to what works, man. What is what works, man? Number slavery, uh, homosexuality, bestiality, uh, uh, eating abominable foods, uh, putting women, um, on the, on, on a pedestal, basically putting women before um, before men, and a, and a whole other slew of things, man, um, changing the land Sabbath, not honoring the Sabbath uh, at all, spraying chemtrails, uh, uh, basically genetically modifying foods, thinking that you're the most high, man. These so-called white people think you're the most high, so the most high is like, all right, man, your, your, your sins have reached unto heaven, man. And the most high, once that happened, you're done. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day. Yeah, all your, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to say it, man. Death and mourning and famine. Right, so that's the last terror attack that's going to be placed on the earth. It's going to be none but terror. Terrors will be on all sides of, of America and the whole world. And you're seeing that right now, man. You have so, so many different coups that are happening in these different countries. You have a lot of different uh, civil unrest. You have a lot of austerity in these different countries. People rioting over there in Europe. What about Greece, man? Greece was hot for five, six years, man. And it's still hot. Everybody just forgot about that. Well, nobody has forgot about it. It's just that you Americans, man. You Americans is thinking about who, if a, a little boy can go in a girl's bathroom, man. That's what you Americans are thinking about, man. So famine's coming to America. Mourning coming to America. And death is coming to America, man. And this is massive death. It ain't gonna be like the so-called shooting with 50 so-called homosexuals die, man. This is gonna be a mass, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a mass murder, man. It's, and you know, it's not gonna be a murder, man. The most high's not gonna murder you, man. The most high gonna kill your ass. Because you because murder is unjustly, man. The most high is gonna be just with with killing your ass. And that goes for two-third of our people that don't that don't want to come to the Lord, that deny the Lord. That 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 scoffed against the Lord during the time of uh during the time of Moses, man. All right, and famine, and 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 she shall be utterly burned with fire, and that's right. And how is that gonna happen, man? How can how can a, a whole continent be burned with fire? It's because of them nuclear missiles, man. All nations are gonna shoot nuclear missiles on America because. Because they committed this, these fornications with America, and then America basically uh, turned their back on them, basically fucked their ass up, and, and the nations are mad. Verse nine: The kings of earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her, right, have have basically partaken. They were like, all right, cool. We our ancient customs, basically, the other nations casted off their ancient customs and took on the customs of the so-called white man, of uh, the, the Edomite race, man. They put away their ancient garments. They put away their ancient gods. They put that in the background. They might worship that. They might worship the ancient gods on the low, but really they worship the so-called white man and his system. So now that they put up all these, these uh, these ancient gods, their ancient gods, their ancient garments, their ancient way of living to live like a live like America, and then they was like, all right, we gonna live like you, man. And 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 they were and and uh and it's the king, so it's not the people that's living deliciously, man. It's the it's the so-called elite of the nation. Shall bewail her and limit for her when they shall see smoke of her burning. And that's exactly why they're going to they're going to be mad that America be destroyed. Not that it was a mass. Not that there was a mass killing of Americans and even their relatives that are on that land. They're going to be mad because they ain't going to get no more riches off America, man. America is the number one country of consuming, man. America doesn't make anything. It doesn't make anything anymore. It just consumes. Everything come. Everything is imported, man. America doesn't have ex exports. All the jobs, the majority of all the jobs are being exported. A lot of the food is coming in. It's being imported. So the other nations, man, they they're gonna be bewail America because of the lack the lack of money, so to speak. They're not gonna live. They're not gonna live great and good like they used to be, man. By by you dumb Americans, by you consumers. Especially two thirds of you 
two thirds of our people, man, are black, man, and Native American. They're the ultimate consumers in society, man. And you, you can just see it in the way that they dress. You can see it in their music. You can see it in their culture, man. Because they have actually, they have, they, they don't, they, they don't make anything, man. They, they're the, they're the ultimate slave, according to Deuteronomy the twentieth chapter. How we should come of one of, of need of all things from our enemies, man. So Israel is the main cons consumer that's holding up and making rich, making Americans rich, and making you other nation rich. Okay. And, uh, and the kings of the earth, verse 9 again, who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for fear of, of her torment, torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for one hour it is thy judgment come. So yeah, the, the Lord, you, you, you heaped up to yourself all these damn riches, man, over the last hundreds of years, building up this wicked-ass society you know as America, basically, um, Selling, selling out the other nations, making the other nations rich, making yourself rich. I'm talking about you, goddamn Edomites, you, you so-called white people. And I'm not talking about you, 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 you just av average everyday crackers, man. You, you guys are not even in the mix. You, you don't know what's going on. You, you Bible thumping crackers. I'm talking about the elite of the of the so-called white man, man. We're dealing with the elite. You other, you peons, you just fit for destruction. But they're going to be standing off with, with fear, man. They're going to be like, damn, man, how, how did America, America? Because nobody sees America going down. America is so big that it's like there are they're, they're, uh, they're militaries in thousands of countries in pretty much almost every country in the world. Okay, they hold a grip on the financial system. So they're going to they gonna bug the hell out because it's like, damn, America, America's destroyed? In, in, in one hour? It's been hundreds of years America's been building themselves up as a nation. Hey, all these technological advances, all, all, all the so-called great inventions came out of America, the, the so-called technology, all, all, all the great um, e economists, all the, 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 just the great economy in, in, in general that that is perceived that America has is paved with gold, man. And uh, verse 11, and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her. For no man buyeth their merchandise any anymore, and that's the reason why these these other nations gonna mourn America, man. They're not like I said; they don't give a goddamn about you Americans, man. If all you Americans die right now, man, their life is still gonna go on. They still gonna do business amongst each other. It's just gonna be another. It's just it's just gonna be a, 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 a another day, man. But they gonna mourn because they're not gonna be living deliciously like they were when when all you goddamn Americans were here, man. Buying up all they they pro they produce, man. Buying up all they they uh uh merchandise. The merchandise of gold and silver and precious stone and pearls and fine linen linen and purple and silk and scarlet and and uh thining wood and all manners of vessel of ivory and all manners of vessel of precious wood and of brass and of iron and of marble and silver and odors and ointment and fragrances and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men and you can and, and this proves this proves that it's talking about america because all these things that you see are being imported into america man and this is the things that are making america that's these are the things that are making the other nations and the so-called white men rich man gold silver this is all you, you go into um venezuela right they import um, oil. They have the biggest oil reserve out of all out of all nations. Silver, gold. There was a gold rush here in America, but where's the majority of gold at, man? It's in other countries, man. Ivory, Africa, different precious woods going down to South America, going going to other countries, uh, going to the islands, Hawaii, New Zealand. These different ointments, you know, these different uh, uh, pro these different produce that you Americans. Uh, use in your everyday life, man. That's that shit is imported from imported from other countries, man. Olive oil, beasts, sheep. This this goes. There, there's farms here in America, but the majority of all things are imported here in America, man. And slaves, man. And most importantly, slaves, man. Because the other nations have the other nation, the leader, other nation has set they have set their people up as slaves, man. The majority of people here in America are slaves, man. Keeping the keeping the so-called American dream 
going for for the uh, for the elite, for the, for the motherfuckers that's going around traveling around the world, man. Uh, verse fourteen, and the fruits that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee. That's right, man, and, and that's what is going to depart it. All the all the great things that these other nations and, and the so called white man chiefly uh, like and want, it's going to be gone, man. And all things which were dainty and, and goodly are departed from thee. And thou shalt find them no more. And that's right. You're not going to find them no more. Because during that time, America is going to be destroyed. And, and, and Yasha Allah, okay, who you, who you people, who you damn Edomites keep trying to say that we're not the children of God. We're not the Israelites. And that we're, we're breaking down the scriptures totally wrong. We're, we're bugging out. It's, it's going to be made manifest, man. You're not going to find them anymore, man. Cause you know what? The only and the people who's going hard saying we not the Israelites is oh, you goddamn Edomites. The other nations know we the, we the Israelites, man. From different camps that go out that go out and, and preach, right? Different go, camps that go out and teach. Uh, you got uh, heathens from the other nations be like, how did you find this information out, man? But here in America, with the indoctrination and, and the basically deception and lies that the that in, in, in the so called school system that Esau pushes, right? His his. His people are gonna eat it up, man. They think that that they were they were the the, the, the Egyptians, they they were the, the Persians, they they're the Israelites, you know. They, they're everybody, man. As long as they're on top, this okay. But now that they see that the kingdom going down, now all of a sudden we're not the Israelites now. The, the, the Bible's written by a white man or, or king he um they were they're King James. They're the, the so called royalty of these different countries. Of uh, Ireland and England, you know, which which when you go into history, the true history, right? That's why Esau pushes his his his. That's why Esau's indoctrination is so is so embedded in you people because, in his school system, man, and, and especially our people are and, and the women of our people. They 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 cleave onto Esau's so called school system, so called so called scholarly way of 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 academically way of of um, thinking. And uh, and uh, and 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 being placed in society as far as you know what you're talking about, when it's totally the opposite, man. Uh, verse fifteen it says, "The merchants of these things, which were made rich by her, shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, weeping and wailing." And exact, that's exactly what you other nations gonna do, man. It says, "And saying, alas, alas, the great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with with gold." And precious stones and pearl and with and and, and and this is Bible prophecy. Who is this nation talking about? It, this nation can only be this this scripture can only be talking about one nation because the ancient Babylon was destroyed. This is daughter. This is a daughter of Babylon, man. The, the, the so-called new uh, Babylonians that had the children in Israel are you are you so-called white people, man? The so-called new Egyptians, right? They have the so they have the Israelites in captivity. Are you so-called white people? And and Israel and, and um America was uh, decked out with fine, with with gold and par, uh, purple and scarlet, man, and precious stones and pearls. Basically, uh, America being the greatest nation that ever, to basically ever ever, uh, as far as in in as far as in, in goodies, right? For in one hour, so great riches has come to naught. Exactly, all you so-called investment investment bankers, you multi-billion-dollar investment bankers, you you multi-billion-dollar uh, uh, um, different uh, Fortune 500 companies that basically have slaves of the sl slave or they have ties to slavery and, and, and have ties to some way oppressing the children of Israel. But like the scriptures say, it says, "But in one hour." Great riches has come to not because what the hell are you gonna do, man? What are you what are you gonna do in your your so called multi million dollar home, okay, in the Hamptons or somewhere or somewhere on some type of uh, uh, island off Seattle, okay, uh, uh, a so called underground bunker decked out, uh, a private jet. You got the finest women. You got the finest uh, clothes. Uh, the, the, you have money. You don't even check your account because it's just money keep coming in. What are you gonna do when there's a nuclear missile with your name on it, man? What are you gonna do? Hey, I'm talking to you, you, you so-called white people that live in great in a, in Atlanta, America, man. You, you peon Edomites, man. You, if you're an Edomite, you're not making 
You you at least not making twenty million a year, man. You a peon. You a peon, man. Cause you got niggas in the NBA doing that. What are you gonna do when a, a nuclear missile come for your ass? When when you when you see America be is crumbling right before your eyes, and and your riches are going to not. I don't care how much money you gonna have on that on that so called chip if Esau's gonna allow you to transfer all your your wealth onto a chip and live and live the same way that you've been living, man. It says in one hour all all that shit has come to nine, and every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sh sailors. And as many as trade by the sea stood afar off and cried because, and, and, it, and there you go. How are all these riches uh, brought into America, man? By ships, man. Ships of these other nations, man. This shit comes in turn, during the, to the docks, which Long Beach is one of the biggest docks as far as uh, bringing goods in, man. You got docks set around all the coast of America, man, bringing in goods from the other nations. Bringing in goods from Japan. Bringing goods from the, the Arab nations, from from um, chiefly China. Man, China has become that China was able to stimulate their economy just by by producing cheap goods for for Americans, man. Which now they have now they have the biggest second class, uh, second class in in the whole world, man. And they're prospering just because of you, just because of you, damn. You damn uh, people here in America, you, you you greedy, you 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 damn greedy devils, man. And, and America has taught you that you have to live above your means, right? America has taught you that go get a hundred thousand dollar car when you only make twenty thousand dollars a year, and you can just put it on credit. So the other nations have 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 become rich off you, damn people, man. And, and, and cry when they saw the smoke of her burning. And that's right, these damn Chinese man, they gonna cry because they be like, damn, we gonna we have to go back to our ancient way of living now, man. But but you but don't even worry about it. you you're gonna be crying, man. You're gonna still be crying. Your ass gonna go into slavery like like all the other nations, man. What city is like unto this great city, man? Because no other no other uh which America is just a big ass city, man. America is just a big ass city, by the way, if you didn't know. Basically, what city is they going to be like, man, like, what nation is like unto America, man? Well, you can come to America and you can do whatever the hell you want to be. You can do what the hell you want. You can be what the hell you want. You want if you want to be a dog, you can be a dog. You want to be a cyborg, you can be a cyborg. If you want to be a homosexual, if you want to be an NBA player, a, a basketball player, if you want to open up a so-called tech, a, a technological company and become a multi-millionaire, multi-billionaire, if you want to open up a, a law firm, You'll be like, damn, well, you come to America, you can do whatever the hell you want. You can write whatever you, write whatever book you want. You can do whatever the hell you want. And in, in, in these other countries, there's stipulations. So they're looking at America like, man, this is a great, a great nation. But in, in, in that one hour, man, it's going to be made to not. Verse 18. And cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, what city is like unto this great city? And they cast dust upon their head, which is basically, uh, uh, basically when you're in mourning, man, that's an ancient way of mourning. They're going to cast dust upon their head, so to speak, and cried and weeping, wailing, saying, alas, alas, the great city wherein were made rich, wherein were made rich all that had ships in the seas by reason of her costliness. For in one hour, she is made desolate. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles. And prophets, for the Most High has avenged you on her, and that's what it. That's why America is gonna be destroyed, man. Because the Most High is avenging the blood of the Israelites, man. The blood of the Israelites, man. You damn, you damn devils that put Israel into slavery, and, and, and this was a, a a terrible slavery, slavery, man. You didn't allow them to keep their their nationality, so to speak, which was all, <coughs> which was all set up in the spirit. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> which is all set up in a spirit, but even then, the Most High still won't judge your ass for that, man. Well, I'll read verse 18 and 20 again, because that's a very important factor. Like, well, why is America being going to be destroyed, man? Because of the Israelites, man. Because you had the Most High's chosen people in captivity, and you didn't let them out of captivity, and you took their their so-called um, their heritage, you beat their heritage out of them, 
Okay? And, and, and still to this day, you are fighting constantly to, to, to stop them from knowing who they are. <coughs> causing, causing a lot of our people, right, to be destroyed because of the indoctrination of Christianity, Catholicism, so-called religion system, the so-called democracy, the so-called way of living as American. Well, we're not Americans, man. We're Israelites. How are you going to indoctrinate the people to, to believe that they're Israelites, man? And you're doing that to all these other nations, man. And other nations see that the only thing with Israel is, especially uh, Judah, is that they don't have any culture to go back to. They don't have any land to go back to call them on their own. So they're totally, indo they're totally indoctrinated to being Americans, man. Verse 21. A mighty angel took up a millstone, took up a stone like a great millstone, and cast it into the sea, saying, thus with violence, okay, thus with terrorism, shall that great city Babylon be thrown down. So all you people talking about peace and safety, there's, there is no peace and safety, man. How the Most High going to take down a place that's been wicked with peace and safety? A so-called bloodless revolution, man. No, the Most High is going to judge you souls that are here upon the, the face of the earth. And this is going to be with violence. It says, thus with violence shall that great city, Babylon, America, man. That's a buzzword, man. And that's a buzzword for all, for, for the elect and for the people of the of, in, in the knowledge of the Yahweh Shema Shai. We know that America is Babylon. And you know what? A lot of our people know America is Babylon. But they're like, you know, I know the Lord's coming, but I got seven years. You know, I, 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 it's not he's not going to come in my lifetime, man. Niggas been saying that from the beginning of the time, man. It's not going to come in my lifetime. But this is the lifetime. And if you can't see it now, man, you just fit for destruction. It said, thus with violence shall the great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. Yeah, America's going to be found no more at all. It's still going to be a continent. It's just going to be a plot of land, but it's going to be a memorial to 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 the wickedness that's been placed on a, on the planet Earth, and no and no person is going to ever touch the the the, the soul, the ever touch the uh the, the soil of America ever again, man. It's just going to be a a desert full of 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 of, of creatures, man, of of, of, of dragons, of different hateful birds, snakes, creatures, you know. No, no soul is going to step foot on America, man, because it's too much blood on America, man. And the voice of harpers and musicians and pipers and trumpeter, trumpeters shall hear no more at all. In the yeah, that's right. It's that all that music shit, all that, all everything's going to stop, man. America's totally going to be done. You look at America is a great, a great, a great city, man. As far as their technological advancements. As far as the, the so-called e economy, how how they run things, man, it, it, it's so big. It's, it's like it's like it's something. It's so big that it can't fail, so to speak, man. You can come over here and be with it within wickedness, not within righteousness. You can't prosper in America being righteous. You can't open up a business and prosper in America being a righteous man. You you can have some level of success, but there's always you got to always worry about. Uh, you got to always worry about the so-called white man coming in and snatching away your, your business or your goodies, man. And no craftsman uh, and shall be heard no more at all because there's not going to be anybody in in, uh, in America. And no craftsman or whatsoever craft he be shall be found any more in thee. And the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee, man. It says... Right. Not, 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 basically, no work is going to be here in America. You're not going to have any, no bread and circus. OK, you're not going to have any entertainment. OK, you're not going to have any any manufacturing. OK, any project management, any so-called great so-called universities. You're not going to have these so-called great medical hospitals. You're not going to have nothing's going to be here in America. You're not going to have you're not going to have motherfuckers working at McDonald's. Supplying you people, uh, there's no, there's not going to be any more drugs. The the, the so-called Latin tribes are not going to be killing each other to bring drugs up to the to the Americas. There's going to be no more wars being cast down um, in Afghanistan for the poppy seeds to, to supply you people with with uh with coat with codeine. Supply you people with with basically uh, uh these different drug medicines that the that the pharmaceutical companies synthesize. That's not going to be found no more here in America, man.
it, the, 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 everything's going to cease. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee. And the voice of the bridegroom and the, the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth. That's right, man. America's merchants were the great men, man. They, America, these 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 top men in America have made billions, trillions off 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 this place, man. Man, they living good, man. Even you still you still have people here in America that's living good. You man, you people are stupid. They pay. Why do they pay these so-called athletes millions, twenty million, thirty million dollars a year? Uh, endorsements. Nike might endorse Mike for a hundred million dollars for five years. Where the hell are they getting all that money from? Because you, because you, because you, uh, you damn uh, um, consumers. You American consumers. You you pay thousands of thousands of dollars to see these so-called athletes that you high you help you you hold in high standard, man. So you got people that's making billions of dollars off these these people, man. Israelites. A move a movie. They might bring uh, a X Men might come out. Or, or or the Avengers or Spider Man, and they might make a billion dollars off the off the film, man. How is that possible? Because you people, because you people are living in a fantasy land, man. You you people are basically enabling America to be what it is, because America has turned you nothing to but but basically zombie like zombie like creatures that just spend all your money. You spend all your money on rent. You spend all your money on education. You spend all your money on food. And you spend all your money on drugs, man. You spend all your money on cars. Trying to trying to chase the, the American dream, right? And you bought into the system of America, and now now that you see, um, now that you see that everything is crumbling, right? You people are being people are bugging the hell out. This is the last verse. It says verse eighteen, and in her was found the blood of the prophets and the saints, and all that were slain upon the earth. Man, that's right because America has slain. We're talking about the Israelites, man. We don't give a goddamn about you other nations, man. I sure don't give a goddamn. Any brothers in this truth don't give a goddamn about you other nations. Because you never gave a goddamn about us. It's all because the, this place is going to be destroyed because of the wickedness that is committed towards the children of Israel, Israel, man. And basically denying of the Most High. Esau is the only nation that denied the Most High and pushed all this wickedness, man. The other nations have wickedness and the Lord and the Lord plagued them for that, man. The Lord plagued him for that, but this particular nation, Esau, the so-called white man, which you Edomites are now basically saying that you are Edomites. You can't even deny that you're Edomites now, but now you're saying that the Lord can save all everybody. So what about the, the blood of the prophets? You're not the prophets. You're not the saints, man. And and, and you and you didn't get slain. You can't you can't say anywhere in history that you were slain you were slain on the level of the Israelite, man. That you were in cap captivity you or the other nations can't say that man so the lord's going to destroy you for doing that because you did it to his people and then you thought that there was nothing going to happen to you but you know what the beautiful thing about it is, is that the lord right now is is basically made making it plain who the children of israel are who the children of israel are and america how america is being destroyed right now okay so with that, man, I hope I was edifying to all you brothers out there doing the work, man. Keep pushing. We almost out of this goddamn bitch, man. The Lord's making it manifest, right? Who the men of the Lord are. The Lord's making it manifest that America's gonna be destroyed, man. Okay? So with that, I want to say shalom.